the black, yellow and blue machine there. Colton Herter on the inside of Marcus Ericsson. Kyle oh! Kirkwood hits Will Power and turns him around. Scott, excuse me, Will Power drove Kyle Kirkwood pretty wide at the exit there. Kirkwood on the grass makes it hard for him to control his car and the two come together. You see the, you see the desperation in the moves from these alternate shot cars. And look, big defense now. Jack Harvey doesn't want to lose any more spots, but Pato Award goes sailing by. That's primary tires to primary tires, so not the pace that Jack Harvey wants in this opening stint. And it wouldn't surprise me at all as we watch Harvey's onboard here. Here's a replay of Colton Herta, first of all, down into turn one, a big, brave, bold move. And look at power. Drives Kirkwood wide. Kirkwood tries to stay with it, but there's no way you can control your car re-entering the track that way. Yeah, he's four wheels on the grass. There's really nothing he can do, and unfortunately, the spacing and the timing. This is on board with Kirkwood. It all happens so fast. You can watch it stay in right, slow motion right. and think, oh, you could have done this or that. I wonder how race control will see that, because on one hand, yeah, Kirkwood came back on the track, but Will Power pushed him there. I mean, he absolutely took away 100% of Kirkwood's exit and drove him right onto the grass. Well, it is under review, as you would expect from race control. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.